We've been flying since August of 2020, and we've just recently picked up our pace in the last few months flying, sometimes up to three times a week. So you can see the hangar that we work out of behind me, and it really affords us the opportunity to provide an aircraft close to the engineers where they can work on the aircraft and see the results very quickly. And working out of a small hangar like this, we keep our costs down. We're able to really maximize efficiency in the aircraft and flying in the local area affords us a great opportunity with a huge variety of airports and just the right varying weather conditions for our test program. In general, the way we collect data is, is agnostic to the platform. That is to say that a small airplane collects just the same amount and same type of data as a large commercial aircraft, but we do it at a lesser cost and of the same quality. And the advantage is that we fly the same flight path and approximately the same speed. So on the aircraft, what we have is cameras that capture imagery that is time synchronized to a device called the Inertial Navigation System, which is connected to two GPS antennas, and that system allows us to determine where the aircraft is and where it's pointed, and we time synchronize the output from both of those systems collected into a single computer, and all that data is recorded to disk that we can then bring back to the data center for processing. Once it's in the data center, uh, we have to label that data. Raw data is not usable for machine learning because the machine learning system won't know what the salient features are in the image that we want it to learn. So each iteration, we've basically dramatically improved the quality and also reduced the cycle time in terms of how, how fast we can do the labeling. And so now we're just churning out crazy amounts of data uh, that's really high quality, really, really fast. Autonomy, you really need a, a level of uh, precision that doesn't exist right now in the kinds of data that we're trying to label. Getting a basic deep learning model uh, may require uh, you know, just a small bit of data. But if you want to actually have a model, a deep learning model that is generalizable, you need to have all sorts of test cases and all sorts of edge cases. You know, we've proven the basic model works, and now we have to basically collect all sorts of data so that we can say that, hey, this works in all the different conditions. It works for all the different runways, and that way it'll actually become something that has a real-world application. What we're looking for next is more and more challenging conditions, like nighttime approaches, like approaches with clouds or backlit, uh, approaches where you're flying into the sun, approaches with difficult vis visibility and difficult visual conditions, uh, such that we can expand the range of airports that we can operate out of. A-Cubed is developing the experimental prototype research systems that will eventually drive the mature certified systems that go into commercial aircraft that you would fly on every day.